Ready to pose for a picture? Oh, uh, wait, do I look okay? What? Perfect. <laughs> hey, Ward, hold up. Miss Colby, what a pleasure. I think we need to settle something. Whatever happened to David? Were we on a first-name basis? Hmm. And dinosaurs once roamed Pine Valley. Look, I don't know what's going on between you and Jake and Allie, but I told them that you'd hung up your stalker hat. Please don't make a liar out of me. What you were so good at. All right. I don't know what it is that made me think I could have a reasonable conversation with you. Forgive me. Old habits die hard. Well, Allie is an old habit. Let it die and stay away from her. Nothing would make me happier. Should I believe that? My coming back to Pine Valley had nothing to do with Allison Doyle. She thinks otherwise. I can't help what she thinks. The truth is, our paths crossed accidentally. I saw her, said hello. She asked me to stay and chat. And why on earth would she do that? It did get Jake's attention, didn't it? I assure you, Liza, I did not go after Allie today. And I have no intention of ever going after her again. I'll tell you what. Why don't you tell me why you really came back to Pine Valley? And maybe we should try to go for a straight answer. You want a straight answer? Mm -hmm. Then that's exactly what you're going to get. Well, Dr. Hayward, I'm all a flutter. What's your straight answer? Do I really have to spell this out for you? I'll tell you what. Let me do it for you. You are addicted to control. Power is a drug. You get to choose who lives, who dies. It's this whole doctor playing God complex. Mm -hmm. Are you having fun yet? Mm, don't let me forget the danger and survival part. You're coming back to Pine Valley, the place where you almost lost your medical license and your reputation and your career, and your six-figure income. You get to come back here and choose whether you want to play it out all over again. Your insight is remarkable. Well, I've spent enough time on therapist couches to learn a little bit about the human psyche. Or should I say, psychosis? Pine Valley is the ultimate challenge for you. You get to come back here and you get to pick a more... Well, I am going to green light the medical segment. Rudy has the memo on it. Could you pull that memo? Redo it for me so I can look at it when I get back? Yes, I am actually hiring the perfect doctor for it. Okay, yeah, thanks. Oh, you again. You wouldn't vaporize the doctor you're going to hire for WRCW, would you? Well, of course not. Wouldn't dream of it. So you are going to hire me for those spots? Actually, no. I'm hiring Dr. Martin. Jake Martin. Are you sure? Damn it. Damn it. I'm sorry, man. It's not fair. I know it's not. Let me tell her, all right? Uh, all right, I, um, I'll answer any questions that you, know, you guys might have. Hey, Dr. J, you have my lab results back or... Oh, my God, Mateo, what is it? What's wrong? Listen. You gotta listen to me, okay? What I'm about to tell you is important. Look, you guys are just dancing around the bad news here. Will you please tell me what's wrong with me? Okay. They got the toxins out of your blood, but there was some damage. How much damage? To what? Your liver. We got the test results back. The liver function tests were, were reduced. Your liver function's down. And uh, it's a, a chemical hepatitis. What exactly does that mean? It means that your, your liver um, has a difficult time getting rid of the um, impurities that come mm -hmm. into your body or, or the ones that are already yeah. in there. Already in there. 
like like the poison that Lee put in that tattoo. Your liver can regenerate. It can heal itself. Uh, eventually, you'll be back to, to full health. All right, then, well, I don't understand, then. We couldn't flush all the toxins out of your system. But you said they were gone. Yeah. yeah. Th there's a, a traces of the, the chemical still in your body. But I thought that when you took that horrible tattoo off that you got all the poison down. Most of the poison came out, although some that stayed in there was absorbed into your bloodstream and consequently ended up in your liver. That's, that's what we have to look at. But I'm going to be okay, right? And you said I was yeah, going to be okay. You, you're, going to, you're going to be fine. All right, we just have to monitor your health, you know, test your blood on a weekly basis. It's, it's just going to take some time. How much time? Oh, six months, maybe a year. But we'll keep a close eye on you. Haley, it's, it's going to be a day-to-day -day kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And what else? There is something else, right? Until you're 100% with this, uh, we can't have any kids. Listen, it's not forever. No, it's just... not fair. We've been through too much this year. We can have babies, just not, not right now. How do you know? How does anybody know anything around here? Haley, uh, it's just not a, a good idea to conceive no, a child please. right now. I don't want to there, hear there, this. There's a chance that you could pass the toxins that you have in your system right now onto the child. That's not fair. In addition to the damage that might happen to the fetus, the stress from the pregnancy might cause your, your recovery to to be set back, and it might hurt you. Well, I don't, I don't care about me. I care about you, all right? I'm not gonna let anything happen to you. Look, having a baby right now is not a good idea, at least not for the foreseeable future. Foreseeable future? Oh, God, please, no. Haley, we're gonna get through this, all right? Look, you said it was my liver, right? That's what the test results show. Is it show. because I'm an alcoholic? Was it my drinking? No, you know, no, 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 that, that's this? not it. We have prior data to show that your liver function was normal before this. At least there's that. Yeah. Look, I, uh, I gotta get going. I'm gonna leave you two to just absorb all of this, all right? I'll be back later. She, she could be released today, though, right? She's yeah, going home. Yeah, yeah, she can go. That's fine. Haley, I, you're probably going to be able to have a child. You'll probably have lots of children. All right, let's just focus on that. Comparative study, I get this garbage. Ugh. What exactly did you eat for dinner tonight? A bag of chips? That's healthy. How is it that you keep getting in here? I'm a man of many talents. Breaking and entering isn't a talent, David. It's a felony. Your assistant's long gone. So are the rest of your staff, which means so should you be. You know, my comings and goings are really none of your concern. So if you don't mind, I do have a little bit of work to do. Nothing that can't wait until tomorrow, I'm sure. If you don't leave in the next five seconds, I'm going to call security. There's a very nice man named Bruno. And they don't call him Bruno because he's cute and furry and Excuse fluffy. Excuse me. Last I heard, you were pregnant with child. Am I right? <laughs> yeah, your point being? Wouldn't you like to give birth to a happy, healthy child this time around? David, my pregnancy is none of your business. I'm making it my business. Starting now, Miss Colby, you are going to be making a major lifestyle adjustment. Doctor's orders. I get some. Mm-hmm. You get a whole one. Oh, 
Thank you. Don't move. <laughs> Don't go. I won't. You leave the gall, that creep. I mean, if, if he keeps this up, what are we gonna do? I mean, I suppose we could slap a restraining order on him. Jake, let's not talk about David tonight, mm -hmm. huh? You came, you rescued me, you made your message very clear. I yeah. think you got the point. Now, my sweet, now is time for your reward. Reward, huh? Mm-hmm. I think we're right about finished with this. So, no more fruit? No. I have some other things that uh, might satisfy your appetite. <sighs> You got, you got your diaphragm? Mm -hmm. yeah. It's all taken care of. Make love to me. Everything will be perfect. Doctor's orders. Well, that sounds a little bit like a threat. Well, if that's what it takes, somebody's got to keep you in line. Oh, oh, your picture must be in the dictionary. Excuse me? Right next to the word chutzpah. I prefer self-confidence. Arrogance? A plume. Well, now that we've figured out that you're a walking thesaurus, would you do me a favor and please leave? I'm not going anywhere until you promise me to make some changes in your routine. You know, I don't have to promise you anything. In fact, David, I don't even have to talk to you. How many hours did you put in here today? 12? 16? Fueled by what? Stale donuts. And coffee. Well, you know, they weren't stale when I ate them. They're pure carbohydrate. You need protein. I, you know, I'll tell you, I'm not really drinking coffee. I know it's bad for the baby. Wonderful. Score one for Junior. And I've read the books. Reading the books and actually following the advice are two different things. Well, I know how to take care of myself. Really? Then why are you working so late? Because I run a television station. Then delegate. You have plenty of competent help here. Use it. You should be home right now, resting. Relaxing in a hot tub no. or watching the news instead of designing. That's it. You're five minutes. Wait a minute. Oh. oh. Only a couple of weeks ago, you sat here passionately telling me how much you wanted this child, how much it meant to you, and now you're willing to risk its life? No, I'm not risking its life, Dave. By I'm... not taking proper care of yourself, that's exactly what you're doing. Don't you get it? This baby is real. It's a viable life growing inside of you. So you better wake up. Because if you don't, if you continue to work the way that you're working, ignoring what your body needs, you're gonna end up harming this child. Or even worse. Now, is that what you want? in the bathroom. So, what'd you think? Ooh, I still have the touch. Bye-bye. It's been nice getting to know you. Thank you.